Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. It's Friday, so we're doing empties today. Mostly wax, a couple of itty-bitty other things, but not a lot. Um, so let's get into it. Um, for nails, I used up a crystal gazing. This is not in the current catalog. It's old. It's, it's, it came out a couple of years ago, I think. And I only had a couple left. And so I used what was left, and then there was like one or two left, and I... I tossed them without saving. I should have just saved those to show you what it's like. But you can look online. It's a very light, um, almost like a powdery blue, but it has a satin finish to it. And it almost reflects a little bit to pink, just a, or just a hair. But you have to look and see what crystal gazing is about. That beeping in the background is my dishwasher because it was in the midst of a cycle and I... I turned it off to film so you wouldn't hear the dishwasher, but now we're going to hear the beeps instead. So, you know, can't win for losing. But anyway, crystal gazing. I would repurchase this if it ever came back. Look, it's very, like I said, a light, light baby blue with a satin, not no glitter, no shimmer, a satin finish, if you know what I mean. It was really, really pretty. I would repurchase that. And then currently I have um, Manchester Mauve with uh tokyo lights and i did like the half nail thing which eh, it's not my best nail job today i don't know what happened there but anyhow uh anyway that is manchester mauve which is the kind of obviously the mauve one and then the glitter is um tokyo lights and i just had a little uh sampler that i used for that okie dokie and then i think the rest is wax we can talk about this candle marshmallow fireside perfect burn the throw was great no complaints whatsoever i love 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 this candle i have one left for this season and i'll probably burn that one of these days um i did finish off a scentsy pod in cranberry pumpkin spice uh, that was in my garage um, wall plug-in, fan plug-in, wall fan plug-in. And then I also finished um, a car bar in Cozy Cardigan. This lasted, like I swear, almost a whole month. There's a little bit of scent left, but it was so, so good. If you love Cozy Cardigan, I highly recommend getting the car bar. Highly, highly recommend and I think it's on the discontinued list, if I'm not mistaken. And then I put in Luna, so we'll talk about Luna when I take it out. And now I believe everything else is wax. So, if you watched my last melting basket, which was last Saturday, I believe, I said that I was only, I pulled out all my Scentsy clams that had like less, that were less, that were not full. So this batch here, um, it looks like a lot for a week, but Everything in this batch here had three or less cubes. So I was able to finish them very quickly. Some of them I melted in the same room. Some of them I put in different rooms. And I do have six full-size warmers going in my house right now. So, and I also said that I was going to try really hard not to pull from the rest of my stash. I was not successful. I did, only, it was only one thing that I pulled. And on my, um organized wax closet video when I was just kind of going through baskets and showing what was in there. This one happened to be on the top of one of the baskets. It's a Goose Creek candle moonlit coconut. And I had, um, there was a big candle sale on, I don't know, six months ago from Goose Creek. And I bought a few of them and I melted them all down to make tarts. And these are mini muffin pan size tarts like this. And I, they got melted in the move. I didn't, I wasn't necessarily that messy, but anyway, um, I cut these in half and this is really good. Definitely coconut in here, mostly coconut. I would say like co a coconut milk. I'm not sure where the moonlit um, thing comes in, but I get like coconut milk and it's, if you like coconut um, and you see this candle, I would um, get it, especially if they go on sale because candles that are on sale make very affordable tarts. Like, that's a whole bag of tarts. I probably only paid maybe $12 for that candle. So that was really good. Okay, that's it for that. What I dug into, what I'm not supposed to. But I did finish this. This was uh, VCS Baby Leroy Vanilla. Sorry, Lavender Vanilla Baby Magic. This was really good. There was only two pieces left of this. I would repurchase this again. It was one of the um, poinsettias. 
Then from Better Homes and Gardens, Lemon Balm and Cedar, which is, um, let me see. It's all melted there from the move. Um, lemon, Orange, Ivy, Neroli, Jasmine, Lemon Balm, and Sandalwood. Now, <clears throat> it sounds like a lot of notes, but all together I got the sandalwood and a little bit of a... Um, Mostly sandalwood, a little bit of citrus, and a, maybe a little bit of a green note from the ivy, but basically sandalwood and um, citrus. It was really good. This, yes, I would repurchase this, but I can't get them here. But yes, that was really good. I had two bits left of Kona coffee, so I did melt that. And I had two bits left of um, Talking Bluebells, which is... Sapphire bluebells blend with persimmon, jasmine, and fresh greenery. This I just got was very fresh from the greenery. I got a little bit of floral with it and the greenery. It was really, really good. You know, sometimes, like for me, I can't really, I'm, I try to be a seasonal melter, <coughs> but then I get kind of sick of that season and things are especially, you know, and I, fall winter is my jam. I love fall winter, but after a while it gets kind of heavy and heady. So I want to freshen it up. And this was just the thing to do that with. And then the rest are those Scentsy clams that had less than like, say I said, two or three uh, bits in them each. I had a tester left of icicles and evergreen and I mixed it with perfect peppermint and oh my gosh this was so so good if you have both of these definitely check that out that was a really good mix and then uh, I melted lavender and white balsam this was so good as well it was a bring back my bar from I don't know last year or the year before I gosh I wish this would come back again um the Bring Back My Bar ends tomorrow, so make sure you keep voting. You can only vote once in 24 hours this year. I don't know why they changed it. I have a suspicion. But um, it's not even once a day because, like, say, I, well, the, I know this because it happened to me. I voted, like, in the late afternoon, and the next morning I wanted to vote again, but I couldn't because my 24 hours wasn't up. So that's really, really limiting the number of votes that are coming in. And, you know, I was really happy to see some more, <coughs> pardon me, <clears throat> hang on. I was really happy to see some, you know, unusual scents, scents we hadn't seen in a long time, scents that I had never seen at all. I think they were that old. Um, and I was voting for things, I am voting for things that are uncommon, not fruity, you know, not the typical, you know, stuff that we see every year, every Bring Back My Bar. And unfortunately, the stuff that's in the top 25 is the same things that we see every single year. So that is kind of disappointing. Um, I wish there was a way that, like if they want to put out all these scents, then, you know, let us order them. Don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of really frustrated with the whole Bring Up My Bar process because it just seems we seem we get the, the same thing all the time and whatever. Anyway, rant over, moving on. Uh, thunderstorm this is really really good I did put this in my Scentsy Club it's just kind of like a very fresh outdoorsy uh, scent I really enjoy that one a lot <clears throat> bright cider life I melted this last night uh, I had I think three two or three left so I put it all in my living room it is so so good I have forgotten how good it is it's definitely apple it's cider it's not a bright you know apple -y scent it's deep, warm, um, and it's not loaded with cinnamon, which made me really, really happy. I love Bright Cider Light Life, and I don't think I have any more. I might have one more. Forget now. I just did my organization last week. But if it were to come back again, I definitely, definitely would add Bright Cider Life to my order. Spiced Apple Chestnut. This was okay. Um, there's something about chestnut scents that I'm not digging. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it is kind of like a nutty scent, but I just, and I w if there had been more apple in here, maybe I would have liked it more, but 
one I didn't love it. This one I did love, Spiced Orange Harvest. This is in the current Bring Back My Bar collection, so it is still available up until the end of the month. Make sure you put it in your club if you love it. It and Jane described it as it smells like Christmas, and it does. It smells like a pot of an orange. Oh God, that's good. Orange pomander on the stove. It's definitely orange. It is spicy, but not cinnamon spicy. It's a mixture, I would say, of Christmas spices, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. And it was so, so good. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Sweet by Fierce was from the Glamorous You collection. Um, <clears throat> I found this kind of florally perfumey. It was okay. Um, I would not repurchase it again, not because it didn't perform, but just because I didn't care for the scent that much. Or It was okay, just not in my wheelhouse. Uh, cookies for Santa. This is great. The throw was great. It's basically sugar cookies. Um, happy New Home. I like it. Jane does not like it. Uh, for me, it's a little bit florally, but behind the floral is like a soapy note. Like, I don't know, like Dove or... I get soap and clean and a little floral. And I don't know. I like it. Uh, winterberry apple tea is a fan, fan favorite. And also right now in my kitchen, I have the winterberry apple tea dish soap and counter clean. So if you're a fan of winterberry apple tea, you need to get that as well because I love it. And I do have a backup. I guess I'll give that to mom because she really likes winterberry apple tea. I'll, I'll take it to her. Um, Autumn sunset. I There's something in here. I don't have my catalog. It's okay. I just, uh, this is heavy on the cinnamon or something in here, and I didn't really care for it. Not one of my favorites. Cherry almond pie is going right now, and I love it. This one, it's a little bit different from apple cherry strudel, obviously, because there's no apple in it. But this one has a more prominent almond note, like almond extract. That's what I'm smelling in here. So while I like it, and the throw is great, I still prefer uh Apple cherry strudel, cherry apple strudel, more than that. Um, scary good. This is pumpkin, and this was a scent of the month for September, I believe. I wish they would put the date on there from old people like me that don't remember. Like some people, like Patricia, can remember a scent from like years ago. I don't know if she does it. Well, she's younger than me. I guess that's why. Anyway, anyway, um, scary good. So I really like this because I just get a lot of pumpkin, um, like the guts of the pumpkin and not any, okay, I'm almost done, dishwasher. Um, a hint of spice, not a lot. So if you, if you like pumpkin, but you don't like pumpkin, if you don't like pumpkin loaded with cinnamon, check out Scary Good. It was really good. Apricot vanilla. I had a couple cubes of this left. I melted it in my bedroom. I love this. Um, and across the board, Everybody agrees, well, I don't say everybody, but mostly everybody that I hear and talk about this is it's light, and it is light. Um, it is coming back in the spring-summer catalog, which will be released on February the 1st. I did a walkthrough in my video, and my videos trend back, you'll see it. Um, but, I, but having said that it's light, I would still repurchase it. I have repurchased it many times over, even though it's light. Uh, it's just a really nice, exactly like a, just a light apricot vanilla scent. It's really pretty. And Honeymoon Hideaway, not a fan of it. It's a little kind of fruity, tropical something in here that I don't care for. So I would probably not repurchase this one again. All right, that's it for uh, this week's um, empties. And so the ones that are left, out of all the ones that I pulled, have like four or more cubes left. So I may not get to the end of them this week, but I might. There's not too many clams left, actually. The majority of them were like these ones with the, you know, one, two, and three bits in them. So hopefully I'll finish these, this, those ones this week, and then pull a full-on melting basket, cross vendor. I haven't done it in a while. Really excited. I really want to dig in there and get some stuff going melting. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you soon. Bye.